Hey folks, Paul here from iCrack.com and today we're going to go over an iPod Touch 3rd or 2nd generation LCD replacement. Before we begin, however, let me go over um, some of the tools that come in our iPod Touch repair toolkits. Um, we've got a nylon spudger, a Phillips head screwdriver, a ringed suction cup, a guitar pick, a screen protector, and they also do come with a replacement adhesive for your fourth generation iPod Touch, but we will not be needing that um, today. Some extra tools we also always have here are a small um, pocket knife and a pair of tweezers. These are always nice to have um, when performing these repairs. So right here, um, we've already got our second generation iPod Touch opened up. We've removed our screen as you would have seen how in our screen replacement uh, repair video. Um, and so we are gonna go through the process of replacing the LCD. Um, this is your replacement LCD right here. Um, just a note, they are different between the second and third generation iPod touches, but the repair process is exactly the same. So always be sure that you have the correct model number um, when looking for which parts you need, um, all of which we offer on our website. As you can see that we already have the second generation iPod Touch already opened up. We have removed um, the screen. You can watch how to remove this screen and reinstall it in our iPod Touch second or third generation screen replacement video. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna be going ahead and using our spudger right here. Um, the process is going to begin at the bottom of the LCD where we will begin lifting the LCD up from the bottom upwards to the top. Now, just to visualize it, this is exactly how the, how the LCD sits in the iPod Touch. You can see the connections down here or the connection right here clips in right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is begin lifting up the LCD from the bottom. You're, there is a metal uh, mid plate that the LCD sits on that separates it from the battery behind it. Um, you are going to want to reach with either your spudger or your blade or pry tool, um, which we actually offer on our website as well. They all serve the same exact function and work just as well. Um, and you're going to wedge in between the plate, which you can see sticks out just a little bit farther from the LCD and the LCD itself. So we're going to wedge right in between there and begin lifting up. Just like that. Now, as you can see, the Mylar shield right here on the back of the LCD is staying down. That's okay. We can remove that after the fact. Um, it is not a problem. It's, it's, it's actually adhered to the back of the LCD with adhesive, um, and it, it doesn't matter if it comes up with it or afterward. So we're just going to lift just like that as much as we can so we can get our fingers on it, and we'll go ahead and continue to pull that up. So as you can see, this is the Mylar I was referring to. We're going to go ahead and peel that up with it. Move that off to the side. And so you can see the LCD is still stuck in there because this cable is reaching around behind the mid plate. So what we're going to do is remove the mid plate right here so we can get to the so we can get to that to this cable. So we've got seven screws, Phillips head screws, um, on the mid plate that we're going to want to remove. They're here, 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 and here. Where each one of those screws is is actually a clip. That was, that was the clip that the frame of the screen actually pops into. So those are the clips that you're actually... Um, unhinging from the frame when you remove the screen 
in the first place. Um, let's go ahead and clean up this little bit of adhesive right here um, left over from the LCD. And let's begin removing the mid plate. What I'm going to do is move in a counterclockwise motion, being sure to, lie my, to lay my screws um, from left to right so I know that if I go back from right to left when screwing them back in, I'm going to move clockwise. Let's go ahead and do that. So there you go. Now we're simply just going to use our spudger right here to lift the mid plate up right up out of the iPod touch. Now it is going to have a little adhesive um, between the foil <clears throat> that connects to the LCD. Um, but there is also a cable that runs from the logic board to the battery right here. And the battery is actually stuck to the mid plate. So you don't want to rip the mid plate out, right? You just want to briefly or slowly lift it up. And we're going to be able to move it to the side and feed this cable for the LCD through. So you just do want to be careful with this. Um, these batteries can be replaced. However, they do require micro soldering um, to apply the battery to the logic board. So kind of holding it the way we are now. Let's go ahead and just unclip the LCD connection. And there you go. You can slide the LCD right out to the side and we'll lay this down for just a second. So there's the LCD. Um, obviously mine is this um, and we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. So when replacing this LCD, we just want to be very careful that we don't move around this cable from the battery too much. We're just going to insert the LCD over and the cable under from this side. So once we've removed the protective film off the back of the LCD, we'll go ahead and f um, put the LCD on top of the mid plate, just like so. So the cable for the LCD slides right under the mid plate. Does fit right on there. Um, and we did have this um, foil adhesive from the original. So we're going to just go ahead and reapply that. Just press that down a little bit like that. And as you can see, the LCD is even with the edges of the mid plate. We can go ahead and snap the connection in while we've got the mid plate loose um, because we don't want to set the mid plate down and it crush the LCD cable in an awkward position to where it won't reach or connect properly with the logic board. So let's go ahead and just using our finger, place the connection place the connector right over the connection and there you go. It'll pop right in. So now that we've got the LCD connected, we're going to screw the mid plate back in. Um, we will just lift the LCD up and hold it like we were the original. Make sure we have our, our mid plate lined up. And we'll go ahead and screw these screws back in. So we're moving in a clockwise motion now, um, taking our screws um, from our line of screws, moving right to left. So every screw goes back exactly where it came from. Okay, so now that we have our mid plate screwed back in, we'll just simply lay our LCD down on it. We'll readjust this adhesive at the top. And we will take our protective film off. 
And there you have it. That is an iPod Touch second or third generation LCD replacement. The process is exactly the same. However, the parts are different. So be sure you know what model you're ordering for. Um, to watch the rest of this repair and see us put the screen on, please go back to our screen replacement video. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.